All right, welcome back guys. Uh, just did a couple things off uh, off camera there. I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me grind and cut and uh, angle all this stuff, but so basically all I did is uh, I took some uh, aluminum L bracket and just put two inch slits all the way across so it can bend with a curve. Uh, the only thing I wish I would have done is you can just see a little bit of the, the bumping here. Uh, that's from actually when you take these tabs and you flatten them out because of course they're going to be facing up on my boat. Um, it kind of bent that out a little bit. I'm quite picky so that, that's really going to bother me. Uh, I might try and uh, end up doing a, a trim or something around the top. So that kind of like a rubber trim, uh, a filler piece. Just so that way you can't really see it that much. Uh, once the carpet and everything's on you won't be able to see too much of it. But So we'll put the cap back on. Uh, I did remove this so I could put the, the brackets underneath. I reattached everything here. Um, other than that, like I said, you just basically riveted. Uh, I did this on a four inch increment uh, on the actual L brackets. And then I took this, um, this is a U, U channel. Uh, it's a one eighth aluminum as well. That one I want to make a little bit thicker. A lot of the other stuff uh, is a little bit thinner, makes it a little bit easier to cut. Uh, but that one I wanted thicker because of course this is gonna be where the trolling motor is. And also when you're getting on and off the boat, uh, you just want that really secure. I may put a couple brackets uh, down here. Depends on what kind of shelf or, or internal cavity I want to make on there. Uh, it does seem to actually have the, or make the boat a lot more rigid, especially on the front. I mean, it is just a, a base right now, but it seems to work very well. So of course I did cut my section here. I cut uh, a little gap out of the top so I could fit uh, the electrical for my light. I'll show you, put this in here for a second. Like I said that's gonna match up perfectly with uh, with this aluminum piece here it's just a little out of line I don't have it uh, just with one hand it's a little bit tougher um, like I said the the cut and everything else will be uh, I'll make sure that's a little done a little bit better and I'll probably be putting a rubber uh, a rubber sealant on top of here just so it so it looks a little bit better but overall I'm actually quite happy at how it worked when we're looking at it the stability of this other than this gap right now once once it gets screwed down because the, the board is a little bit bold um, but once this is on, I did stand on it, had absolutely no flex whatsoever. It doesn't seem to affect any of the rigidity on the, uh, on the bow of the boat either. So should make a perfect, uh, perfect anchor for the bow mount. Uh, other than that, like I said, that's, that's pretty much the progress as I got now. Uh, I am going to be building, I guess I'm going to be deciding to build an actual cover that goes all the way down. This is going to go down and then straight to the floor, of course. Uh, it would be nice to have like a little bit of a dry storage box or Maybe even some something for my uh, eventual electronics. I'm going to be putting my my live scope and stuff by my back seat over here. Um, but I might do an interlink, and then on that shelf on the front, uh, that's where I'll give uh, uh, I'll I'll use my other uh, Garmin. I think it's a 75 SV. I'll put that on top and then interlink them together so I can see a screen on the back end front. Like I said, it's just a little 12 foot, so I got to be a little bit cautious with my space, but. Um, like I said, it's really dirty, just got out of storage, but so far, uh, yeah, like the, the front bow mount's going pretty well. It's probably been probably a good three, four hours, a little bit of running. A lot of it's going to be picking up the stuff that you need. I'm actually trying to do as much aluminum as I can, uh, stainless steel bolts, everything that I can do, uh, to make it last a little longer. Uh, I know this is just pressure treated wood. Um, you know, realistically where it's located, I do want to make all these panels, uh, removable. So eventually, if I had to replace it, it literally is just unbolting a couple bolts, cutting, recarpeting, uh, you know, stuff like that as well. Um, you know, in general, with that pressure treated wood, I don't go over any crazy, uh, I don't go over any crazy uh, waves or anything like that as well. I mean, occasionally you're going to get the get the, you know, real great wave that's going to go over and wet it, but I I think it's going to be pretty okay. Uh, you know, you can definitely comment and see what uh, let me know what you think as well. One other thing I did this I did this actually last year. This uh, transom is actually, especially on the smoker crafts, they build this really thick transom that's fully sealed. So that's really, really nice. The only thing I found with my Suzuki motor is that when it sits um, on the base, it actually sits really far down. Uh, so the new one, um, uh, the way I adjust it, I basically measured how much I needed to get the, the cavity plate to the base of the boat. Uh, I actually went to a metal fab company and they got me this uh, this aluminum bracket. I then just custom cut it. Uh, I filled it all with foam and then I sealed around the edges and of course put structural bolts in there. The actual bracket will sit over these so it's not going to affect the uh, 
the leveling of the, the motor itself. So, so far I had it working pretty well. Uh, this is the progress of it so far. Like I said, I'm going to do a little bit more work and I'll take another video in a bit.